Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for April 9th through the 15th. Now this is a love reading. My readings are generally love readings so we will call it that right from the get-go. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. This will not all resonate with you but some might, may not, whatever it is it is, right? This is for the sign of Capricorn. We're going to get one of these oracle cards and then we are going to break right into that tarot deck. We will reveal this card at the end. This is for the sign of Capricorn. Now, what do we have? Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know for this week? Unexpected choice in love, okay? This is seduction. This is the lover's card. This is love. It could be. Could be love. Could be seduction. Could be both. Could lead to both, okay? This is an unexpected choice. This person is not your usual type. This could happen very unexpectedly. This person doesn't look like your usual type. They don't act like your usual type, okay? This is generally not somebody you know, okay? Not somebody that you know that you've dated before. Okay, this is usually somebody new that comes into your life and, you know, there's a, there's a lot of attraction here. So there could be, you know, a new attraction that comes right into your life, okay? Hey, but you may be reluctant. You might be reluctant to let them in because they're not your usual type. You know, you may feel like you don't know anything about them or what they do. Okay, you may, you may, um, let me just get some more cards. Feel like you can't, there's a, there's a loss of, uh, or a lack of knowing, okay? Like, I don't even know. I, I don't, I'm not sure that. You know, unsure. That's the word for it. I'm unsure about this. Quite unsure. Um, whew. You might feel like whatever they, whoever this person is, you might think that they're unstable. You might feel like they don't wouldn't lead to some sort of commitment or anything stable and secure, but that might be just an immature thought. This right here is a lot of passion. This could this is a new partner. I feel this is a new new uh, exciting partnership that could lead to a lot of passion. You know, like really, really. Um, well, you know, there's a lot of seduction here. Put it that way, a sexual attraction. Okay, I feel like this is a week of a, a, an attraction that you did not expect. Put that way. Ooh, there you are. Could You could be dealing with another uh, earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or this could be your energy. But, you know, this could certainly bring to a lot of happiness. I think that you are dealing with another earth sign. We have earth up there as well. You know, I feel whatever this is, um, it could lead to a lot of happiness and bliss. And you may feel like you've known this person before. This uh, this could be a soulmate connection, you know. This could be somebody that you feel very familiar with, um, you know, that you may have even known in a past lifetime because this can be a past life experience connected to this, you know, because this is generally somebody new, but it's somebody that you're familiar with, somebody that you will see eye to eye with, and it's like you've known them forever, okay. So whoever this person is coming in, there's going to be a strong magnetic attraction, Okay, and it's going to be very familiar. You are dealing with another earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. 
And it is a soulmate connection, okay? Because now that we have the king and queen of the same suit, which is pentacles, which happens to be yours, okay? I feel like you have, you have um, met up or you are about to meet up with a soulmate. And it could be any other sign, but it is a high likelihood of another earth sign or Leo, okay? Because we have Leo twice. We also have Gemini. But we do have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn very, very much, okay? So I feel like and it is a soulmate connection. It could lead to soulmate connection because we have soulmate here and then we have soulmate here. So I feel like there's a soulmate connection coming in and it's very, very unexpected. Um, and this person is not your usual type, but there's there's a strong familiarity with this person, like an inner knowing and a connection that is undeniable. Definitely a lot of sexual attraction as well. And it could lead to a beautiful new beginning, okay, with this world card. This is the beginning of something wonderful. It means that you have completed one phase of your life. And this is a big phase, not a little phase. Something big in your life has ended. And now it's time to begin something new again. So I feel like you guys are about to start a new chapter. And it probably is going to lead to a lot of happiness with a lot of passion. Okay, you're being offered some sort of um, opportunity for expansion, I think, with another person. And this is somebody that you are going to feel very, very comfortable with. All right. Yes. All right. So you guys are moving on. You're moving. You're heading it down a new road. You've reached this crossroads. I think this is going to happen very, very suddenly. There's going to be a sudden change, of course, that leads to something beautiful. That's what it looks like. But you're going to be called to take a risk and not let your insecurities hold you back. Because, you know, we all have insecurities. And you may feel like, you know, this is a little bit risky if it's, you know, that saying, if, it's, if it feels too good to be true, it usually is. But this is saying that you have to take a risk and, and don't let fear hold you back. Okay, this is fear and this is insecurities. Don't let insecurities hold you back. Okay, this is about making a conscious change. So I feel like many of you, it's time. It's time to let this person in. I feel like you guys have an opportunity for a partnership with somebody that really mirrors you. Okay, this is like a a definitely a some sort of uh, soulmate connection here. But, you know, the thing is, look at the Nine of Wands next to the Ten of Wands. This is about letting go, not fighting it. Don't fight it. Just let it happen. Just let it happen. Don't let your insecurities hold you back, whatever you do. Okay? I feel like um, if you really just need to go with the flow. Go with the flow. Let it happen. Oh, my God. Uh, there is a soulmate connection here, and I cannot reiterate that enough. There's a new partnership or a reconciliation with somebody that you've known before, or there's a reconciliation within the relationship that you're in. There is some sort of love this week that is undeniable between two people that is going that looks like it's absolutely beautiful and wonderful and um whew, you know I'm I'm speechless it's like you just all you have to do is be able to understand that this person is not your usual type and that's okay Because opposites attract, right? I feel like there is a huge amount of attraction here. It's I'm speechless, put it that way. I am, I am. With it, it is. I mean, there's a soulmate connection here for you guys. There is. And this person is going to love you for who you are. Okay, they are. They're going to love you for who you are. There's there's just a... a an attraction that is undeniable. 
So I mean, I'm not going to keep going because I feel like this is, is all saying the same thing. There's an opportunity that you are being offered for expansion with somebody new that you may feel like you have known before. And it could lead to a very strong commitment between two people. And there could be a lot of sexual passion. A lot of romance. It's a week of romance, Capricorn. You ready? Honesty. I can always expect the truth from others. I can't. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was wrong. I can't always expect the truth from others. But I can expect it from myself. Be honest with yourself. That's what it says. I feel like you guys have to not let insecurities hold you back and take a risk. This is the only two cards right here that could pose a problem. Your inability to take a risk and just go with the flow. Okay, don't let insecurities hold you back. There is a wonderful opportunity here with somebody that basically I feel like mirrors your soul. You guys are like meant to be together, it's a soulmate connection. Go with the flow, let it happen. This could lead to a wonderful new chapter where two become one. And that's what I have, Capricorn. Talk to you later.